Afternoon Mutton Easters, lovely day again in Manchester. It's April, so of course, it means it's not going to be about tourism and food, but it's going to be about football. And today is a match, in terms of domestic football, that is as big as they come. So join me for today's match day vlog of Manchester City against Liverpool. Now, I did say that I wasn't going to do home vlogs, but this one is just a bit too big for me not to vlog. I am going to include a bit of food this time because uh, some of you have posted comments saying, oh, where's the food, where's the food, where's the food? So we'll have a little pre-match nibble and then uh, go on for a pint and discuss the game. First, uh, in terms of nibbles, I've booked a table at this little place called Bab in Stevenson Square in the northern quarter doing a hip and modern trendy kebab so uh, let's see what that's like and I've tried to get in here before without success so I hope this place lives up to its reputation anyway let's go in so the decor's typical of trendy northern quarter places I don't know if the food's going to match up to it but the uh, menu looks interesting enough and steak lamb chicken mix crispy chicken even halibut and uh, of course this restaurant or cafe is fully licensed beers spirits a few wines don't know if they're any good or not i might have a glass of wine but i am taking it easy on the alcohol today this will become apparent at the end of the video as to why that's the case so uh, there won't be quite as much drinking as normal okay i couldn't find any wines that infuse me by the glass but there are some some ones by the bottle but I'm not going to come close to getting through that so we'll just stick to the water at this place <laughs> and if I weren't going to the map then well I'd be uh, piling into at least one of these hot sauces but it goes without saying if you're going to the map having something spicy beforehand is a bad idea for reasons which should be pretty obvious so the food has arrived, a mixture of chicken and lamb, and I wasn't expecting chips, but maybe I didn't read the thing properly. Anyway, let's give it a go and see how it tastes. Yeah, that's pretty good. i describe it actually as a fusion kebab. I actually, I suppose, prefer the traditional ones, but it's quite an interesting variation on kebab. So. If you don't like it too spicy and you like some more western ingredients uh, sort of kebab style, I'd give this place a try. Anyway, the team news came out and I was a bit surprised to see a front line of Foden, Jesus and Sterling. Foden for sure, but uh, Sterling and Jesus, I mean, they've not been on great form at the moment, but uh, who am I to say? Anyway, I'll get on with eating this and we will then head off. So people sometimes ask me about the rivalry between City and Liverpool and I would say it's um, mostly an on-the-pitch thing. Yeah, sure, we're not each other's favourite clubs, but uh, on the other hand, there is not the um, level of what I call pathological hatred you get between Liverpool and Manchester United. So for me, any banter or dislike stops basically off the pitch or out of the stadium. Having said that, if they win the league this season or some multiple number of trophies, I think we're never going to hear the end of it. So uh, come on, City, win today and stop all that crowing. Anyway, I popped into the bunk for a very quick drink and a new phrase in your vocabulary, a quick two-thirds, because I'm uh, running short of time. Anyway, as for what I think will happen, I think City will win 2-1, but I mean, this could go either way. And I've had a 50 quid comfort bet on Liverpool just in case. Who knows what will happen? Too close to call, but anyway, come on City. Here we go then, it 
doesn't get much bigger than this. defending instigated by Jesus we didn't get the ball back after that and um, that ping pong in the air not good come on City Any chances away because they're pretty good at putting theirs away at the other end. because I don't know how that didn't go in. Well, pulsating first half, riddled with excitement, tension, great chances, and City thoroughly deserve to be going in 2-1. Keep this up for the second half. I have to say, if it had been 3-1, I don't think anybody could have had cause for complaint. Here we go again. I think I'll have a bit more footage to edit than against Atletico on Tuesday. You're ready for this. Straight out at the, to the second half, awful, no challenges, people out of position, running away from the ball, I mean, that was a giveaway, Christmas giveaway. But uh, the only positive spin is that I topped up my bet at 12 to 1 at half time for Liverpool to win, another comfort bet that I don't want to see coming in.
City need to settle down here. They've uh, been very sloppy in possession. Come on, City. benefiting from VAR yet again, but uh, let's hope it won't benefit them in terms of it altering the result for them. Anyway, we have settled down. Let's avoid those sloppy turnovers and losing possession in bad areas, and we'll be all right. Don't let him shoot there! Thank God, Sterling's been hooked. He has been shocking tonight. Oh, you're doing too much. Oh, we're in. Folks, if you uh, need to know why I've not been drinking much today, it's because I'm on the move straight after the match. Train to London, plane to Madrid early tomorrow morning to bring you the next game at Atletico. reason why I wasn't drinking much today at the game was because, yes, I'm going down to London on a, the last train to then carry on on an early morning flight to Madrid. And uh, at least now I'm able to enjoy a Red Willow tilting ale. Don't know if it's any good or not. Couldn't get a pork pie, sadly. Anyway, back to the game. I thought City had the best of the game, I mean, in terms of whether the result was fair or not, well, you can ask the experts. Uh, from where I was sitting, I guess it's the same old thing, City create far more chances, but Liverpool do bang theirs away, so uh, maybe in that respect it was a fair result. Anyway, it was a real pity that Mahrez screwed that one up at the end. I thought we were going to get a last minute winner, just like I thought we were going to win at Anfield when he missed his penalty a few years ago. But it was a great game. It was tense, exciting, fast and yes there were mistakes but they were forced by both sides quality offences. And where that leaves us from here, well, small advantage to City, uh, who knows what's going to happen. I would say that had we won, then it might have been decisive. But for the neutral, I guess that was the perfect result. Anyway, I'm going to wrap the video up here. I will see you on the next one, which will be away at Atletico, which of course will be not a patch on this game in terms of excitement. Uh, if last Tuesday's anything to go by. Please remember to like, share and subscribe and hit that bell button to get instant notifications of all my videos as soon as they come out. And until then, I'll see you in Madrid and don't forget, you can't beat a bit of mutton.